are doing South Lawson, which is an amazing winter hike. It's the one that's located right behind me right there. So this is great for this time of year as long as you have crampons. I highly recommend crampons for this one. And it gets pretty steep, but it's a great workout. So I'll see you guys in the next clip. So warm. I actually took this off for photos. So this is the back. I love it. 
I got spoiled by them. I got a bunch of stuff and I'll show you guys that in the after hike summary for this video. But yeah, that is pretty much all and I will see you guys in the next clip. You stay awake on your own when you feel it all. hike summary for South Lawson Peak or Little Lawson. So this one is a beautiful, beautiful hike in any season. I absolutely love this one. It is one of my favorites in Kananaskis. You get a workout, but you get the rewards. The views on this one are incredible and I absolutely love it. I have done this one three times and I'm still not bored of it. I did prairie quite a few times as well as you guys can imagine. I think I did that one four times and I hate that hike so much. I will never do it again. This one I am open to doing it like three more times to be honest. So this one I clocked in at 8.2k with an elevation gain of 785 meters. This trail is really nice packed down is a very very popular trail for the winter time or any time of the year for that matter so as you guys can imagine the trail is very nicely packed down micro spikes are still 100% recommended because you are going uphill a lot a lot of this one is uphill until you get to the last little ridge walk because you do get a couple false summits on this one and then eventually you will get onto like a ridge walk but other than that like most of this is uphill so you definitely want micro spikes with you 100 so this time around this was actually a really really cool experience so i did this one last winter not even a year ago i don't think to be honest i think i did this one in like february or march 2021 but it had full winter conditions the first time i did it and this time of course as far as hike goes it's very straightforward packed down very easy to navigate the trail there isn't really any sections where you could potentially get lost or anything like that this was a beautiful trail through and through so there is a couple ridge walks i would say on this hike because you do reach a fall summit and that's kind of a ridge walk and then you go down and the views here are incredible. If you're scared of heights, they're probably not that incredible for you. But from here, you do go up to the main summit and then you follow the ridge to the highest point or the end of the mountain. And from here, last time there was a summit register. I don't know what happened this time around. I did look around quite a bit because I wanted to put my business cards in the summit register, but it wasn't there and i feel like there is a little nice place for it with like rocks and everything to kind of guard it from the wind and like falling off the mountain but legit there was no summit register this time around which i was really kind of sad about because i do love finding them i think that they're just like a fun little you know a cool thing that you find at the top of a mountain on a hike i just i love summit registers but there was none this time around and then on the way back you guys we had this really cool experience with like the sun and i did get it on video for you guys but i did get it pretty fast because it was really cold 
at the top as you guys can imagine and my friends were all freezing so I kind of did a quick video of it and a lot of photos because the photos honestly look like it's been photoshopped there literally looks like an angel of light in the trees from the, the way that the sun was hitting at that particular moment super super cool i've never seen that before one of my mountain photography goals i have two one is to see a cloud inversion from a summit and number two is to see a broken specter so this was as close to a broken specter as i have gotten but it was a really cool experience my mom definitely sees that it looks like an angel and she's like whoa i can't believe you saw that i'm like yeah before i let you guys go i want to shout out a brand that sent me some items and and I featured them in today's video as well so I do want to show you guys kind of a mini haul on stuff that they sent me I want to definitely thank Alberta Branded for these nice and warm sweaters these are so nice and warm I wasn't expecting them to be that warm but I took my jacket off at the summit and my friend was like I don't think that's a good idea because you're gonna get like hypothermia or something I was pleasantly surprised that they were actually really nice and warm so the first one is this blue sweater right here this is my favorite color for hiking I always wear a lot of navy blue because my backpack is actually like a bright blue this actually really goes well with it and a lot of my leggings are also blue so that is what the back looks like it is beautiful I love the mountain peaks and everything and then that's what that looks like I absolutely love that sweater they also sent me this burgundy one this you guys are going to be seeing in a future hiking vlog I've already filmed it so stay tuned for that it's gonna be in my heart creek bunker one but this one has a really cute logo as well I think they got the logo and the theme of Alberta like so right with this and then the back of this one is just plain this one is a hoodie and I love this burgundy oxblood color they legit spoiled me like I wasn't expecting so many things but the box was like bursting at the seams and I'm like what's in there <laughs> thank you so much Alberta branded I love your stuff and it did come with this really cute sticker like that I just love their logo I think it's just so perfect we're not done yet you guys there's a few more items here this one is a beautiful t-shirt so it looks like this and this is the logo on this one very nice I can't wait until we have nicer weather and I can actually wear just a t-shirt hiking I miss those days you know the next one is the same one but black and white you know what I might do is I might give the white one to my mom and I might keep the black one for myself and then go hiking with her and take a kind of like a twinsy photo together I think that would be really cute this one again another color that's completely up my alley the material on this one is actually a little bit different than the previous ones I showed you this one is really really soft like ridiculously soft also the sweaters are ridiculously soft they're so comfortable so I just want to wear them like around my house too this one is a beautiful blue t-shirt and then last but not least is this white one here and I love this one too this one is so pretty it has a mountain background with the oil oil thing I don't know what they're called I'm sorry but I think that this is so cute I love everything I got thank you so much Alberta branded for spoiling me and I will definitely be featuring them in future hiking videos and Instagram posts and that sort of thing. So definitely go ahead and check them out. I will leave their info actually in the description box below. I will leave their Instagram there if you guys wanna check them out. I highly recommend them if you're local, if you're an Albertan like me and you guys like hiking. Those would be amazing gifts to either treat yourself to or give to someone else. And yeah, that is all for this video. I do hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you guys soon in my next video. If you guys are not already subscribed, please go ahead, click that subscribe button below. I upload three times a week, Sunday, Wednesday, and Friday, and I will see you guys soon. Bye. I'll let your neighbor.